Oh, hello. I know, right? How did I get this YouTube channel? Well, it's simple as... Oh. We're not about to do this again, are we? Mm -mm. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, my goodness. Luckily, you're not. Don't turn into a bear and attack. What the heck? This is my channel. <laughs> well, this I'm a different breed. my set. <laughs> <laughs> Again, really. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, your man's Back at it with another review. And yesterday, I was able to check out Deadpool and Wolverine in theaters. Um, but before you get into actual beginning of the review itself, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because number one, it's absolute free. Number two, we're on the road. To uh, 2,000 subscribers now, just 999 away now. And uh, also, uh, no, to just 1,000 away now. Um, and uh, thank you for 1,000 subscribers overall, everyone. I really appreciate it. I've been on YouTube here for almost four and a half years now, so I it really means a lot. Um, also, um, it'll maybe help with the YouTube algorithm recommend that more people, maybe they can join the talks. <laughs> Uh, and do feel free to comment your thoughts on Deadpool and Wolverine down below as well. Um, spoiler free, of course, this is, I forgot to mention this as well. This is a spoiler free review. So if you guys don't want to get spoiled about anything, don't worry. I'm not spoiling it here today, but I will be doing my spoiler review tomorrow. So, uh, but that being said, guys, uh, uh let's get right into it. And let's get into the actual review itself, uh, as well um but let's give a quick plot synopsis shall we so transition and shoes i mean yeah wolverine is recovering from his injuries when he crosses paths with the loud mouth deadpool they team up to defeat a common enemy so going into deadpool wolverine everyone was excited for this one including um, myself um definitely Besides Doom Part 2, maybe this was the most hyped up movie of the year. And um, I never, I'm about to get shot right here by you guys, okay? I know. But I never have watched the first two Deadpool movies. I only went into this one and watched this one. I haven't watched the previous two, probably because I wouldn't be allowed to watch these two. This was the only exception because uh, it was in the MCU. So thank you, Mom, for letting me see it. Um, and, uh, I was super excited to see what cameos were in it, uh, how the story was, to see Hugh Jackman and Wolverine back on the screen again, and, um, with that being said, let's just get into actual review itself, shall we? I don't know. And also, skip Mr. Skeleton Deadpool head over here it is only gonna really pop up, um... At the beginning and at the end, so, yeah, because I, that would be tiresome just to hold them the whole entire time like this and then describe the movie review. All right, starting off with the good, all the standout gory action sequences. Man, honestly, this is probably the best action sequences I have seen in the MCU, which I know that might be a hot take, but... There's such a lot of great action sequences in here. Particularly, again, no spoilers here, but the opening is awesome. Uh, uh, there's also a bunch of other standout sequences, too. Um, um, this one isn't a spoiler either, but in the trailers, the, you see them fight. The Deadpool and Wolverine fights are awesome as well. They're a lot of fun. Um, and... <laughs> It was pretty gory, and it was a lot of fun, uh, and uh, it understood how ridiculous the action sequences were, so that's another positive. Um, the opening, as I mentioned, is another positive. All the comedic jokes. Man, this probably is the funniest MCU movie out of all of them. It was hilarious left and right, even though some of the jokes, arguably, you shouldn't really be laughing at, but they were hilarious either way, um, and... This, uh, the jokes written in here definitely felt very similar to back-in-the-day comedy, which I was very appreciative of, because comedy nowadays 
the comedy movie genre is very shy and they added some jokes in here that were really funny and definitely I want to see more of those jokes nowadays in movies. Um, uh, the extra layers that they add to Wolverine is yet another positive I have in here. Um, so Logan, of course, send off the character very well. And what they do with Wolverine's character in here with this Wolverine variant, I thought was very uh, cool. Where you have this alcoholic Wolverine that has let his whole entire world down and basically killed it. And he basically is trying to fix that by proving himself in this movie. Which I thought was a very nice touch to bring Wolverine back. Even though it's technically not actually him, it's a variant. Which brings me into the performances. Hugh Jackman hasn't lost a step as Wolverine. He's still fantastic. Hopefully they eventually bring him back for Secret Wars. Um, also, Ryan Gosling. I mean, come on. You expected both of these guys to have great performances in here. And they do. Um, and also, speaking of Hugh Jackman's performance as Wolverine, probably his performance in here. It's not as amazing as Logan, but it's probably his second best performance with the character since Logan. So it was really great sequence, a uh, really great performance by him in there. And then uh, Ryan Reynolds is always great as Deadpool. He was a lot of fun in here. Um, and also there were a couple other performances in here too. There was the uh, new villain played by Cassandra No. Uh, the new villain in here, Cassandra Nova, which I don't know the actress's name, but she does great in here. Um, I'm trying to think of who else in here. Um, just everyone's really well acted in here, and they know the movie they're in, and they embrace it. So, yeah. Um, the CGI is another positive, which a whole lot of people were going into this one were pretty eh about the CGI from the trailers sometimes. But the CGI in here is really good. And there there's only a rare few of you few use of it. Yeah. Few uses of it. I cannot speak. Um, but it is used very well in here. Um another good, the costuming. I have to shout out the costuming. Bringing back Wolverine's classic yellow and blue and black suit from the comics, which he hasn't worn in the X-Men franchise yet. And also Deadpool has a really cool attire in this one as well, where it's more light red than dark red. Then you also have some of the costuming for the cameos in here that is really well done here, which I'm not getting into that because again, spoiler review tomorrow, not here. Um, Next up, we have the soundtrack. Oh, I feel like... Uh, some people are going to be mixed about the soundtrack, but for me, I thought it was perfect. Where there's scenes where the music fits the actual fighting, and then there's also music that fits for the comedic fighting. Or how hilariously gory the fights are. So the way they tied the music in into each and every single action sequence, it was a lot of fun in here. Uh, the opening sequence, again, is another standout. Um, also, a little bit later on in the movie, when they have a kind of a third act battle, it's really cool in there, too. Um, the emotional depth that they add to Deadpool as well, they actually um, further build up on him, where he just wants to prove to everyone that he doesn't want to care about himself, and they do a great job with that storyline in there. Um... Also, um, the writing was some of the joke, other jokes, and, uh, uh, why did I say others twice in here? Okay, anyways, but the writing for some of the jokes, as I mentioned before, the comedy is hilarious, I thought the writing was done very well w with some of them, well, most of them, um, and it, again, as I said before, it kind of brings back old comedy, which I'm glad it, it did that. Um, another... Uh, good the cameos the cameos in here were really good that they went with I, I was happy with most of them um and easter eggs as well and then uh the uh final good is the directing by sean levi uh or sean levy um which he's most notably known for directing the night at the museum movies which i have a lo lot of fun with all three of those movies and the way he directs all these sequences with the action sequences is phenomenal. And there were there was rumors that he was going to be the new director of Avengers uh, 5, which, after seeing this, Kevin Feige, call him up, man. Definitely, he should be in the conversation to direct it. 
Unfortunately, that's where all my positives end. Now we move on to the mix, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's just... Overall, I don't know how to feel about it. And then some aren't even my mixed aspects. The mix here, I have the fast pace. It doesn't bother me necessarily, but it might bother with some people how fast the movie goes. And it doesn't really take a time to breathe. And I think that's definitely going to kind of turn off some people. But they'll still overall have a good time. But that's why they, they might change on it. Um, my mixed a as one of my first mixed aspects is the story simplistic, which I think that is a very safe way to go. But the way the the story that they have, it feels as if they should have added more to the story and not just the cameos. You get what I'm saying? The another one, the villain. Uh, Cassandra Nova is notably a great character in the comics, and in this one, she's acted very well, she's acted very well, but, I don't know, it's just, there's moments where she's really mess, um, menacing, like, at the start of the movie, I think, when she gets introduced, she's really great, but, however, when she, a little bit later on in the movie, it feels she loses her steam a little bit, so, that's why that's there. And then uh, another mixed aspect, even though I mentioned this in the positives with the cameos that we got, the amount of cameos. There are some points where I feel like it's too much, and then there's some points where I wish there was more cameos, but they they um, they were a bigger part of the story, you know? Um, so that's why it goes in the mix. Now, unfortunately, we move on to the bad, which I only have, like, really, um, probably two negatives, which it's, they're not all that, like, eh, they didn't turn me off on the movie at all. Um, one is, I think this, this one's not on the movie, it's on the trailers. I think they revealed too much in the trailers with the jokes. The cameos they did a good job on. I must admit, I, I must admit. But the trailer, uh, the um, the jokes in there. I feel if they left out some of the jokes from the trailers, they would have hit a lot harder in the the actual movie itself. Need some more explanation and stuff is the next cat uh, next negative. Which there's uh, <sighs> there's. When they're planning their attacks, basically, they don't really... They just basically say, oh, well, we're doing this. And then I feel they could have further clarified on what they're going to do each time, you know? And they don't really do that. But the final one that I'm... Is, uh, it sometimes doesn't take a second to breathe. Uh, overall, I did it. I love this movie. It's just there are points where it didn't, like, stop. It didn't stop, you know? And just take there's one sequence in here that's in the trailers with wolverine talking to x-23 that kind of slowed things down which it took a second to breathe however everything else still fast paced but, but that's a very very minor negative but with that being said guys i overall really love deadpool and wolverine let's bring out the toxic meta and i'll a give not it toxic and, well actually no i'm gonna give it a toxic goodness and yeah. a minus i definitely think this is a must see in the theaters, and especially if you're Deadpool and Wolverine and MCU fans. So be sure to check it out in the theaters. But with that being said, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this toxic movie review of uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, be sure to let me know your thoughts on the movie down below. Spoiler free, of course, because we are definitely talking to spoilers tomorrow. Thank you again so much for a thousand subscribers. Really do appreciate it. And uh, with that being said, guys, uh, Deadpool have anything else to say or zombie Deadpool I should say. No. Okay. Um